All right, welcome back exactly. to Game Inspectors. Um, this is Armor 3, uh, one of the new DLCs that came out called Laws of War. This is some of the game campaign gameplay. Hello, Nathan. First time seeing it. Sorry to keep you waiting, my editor. Sorry. Where were we? Hey, um, you you were asking about the guy, the the one that went back there, the the guy that um. Ah, that's right. And did you know him well? No, not really. He worked maintenance on our trucks. He was employed by IDAP? No, no, nothing like that. I, I'm, I mean, he just helped us out a few times. Off the book stuff. Guy was a local mechanic. Family business type thing, you know? I see. I remember he had a place on the edge of town, not far from our setup. We chat from time to time. He's a nice guy, friendly. All right, so this is... Um, and do you know where he was going that day? To the church. He was going to church? No, uh, no, don't get me wrong. I mean, that place had been abandoned for almost a year. But he was looking for his brother. At the church? Yeah, there'd been reports of, uh, you know, pretty brutal firefight up there. He'd heard his brother might have been caught up in it. Sure, but... And I'm not quite clear on this. Was his brother still alive? Honestly, I don't know. I don't think he knew either. Seems like he was on his way to find out. So, his brother, he was in the army? Uh, yes and no. It's it's complicated. You gotta remember it was pretty chaotic back then. Mm, of course. Um, okay, let's back up a bit. Sure. What complicated the situation? Just the history of it all. His brother had been a recruit in the Altus Armed Forces, boot camp, basic training, you know. Well, this is back when NATO was still keeping the peace. But after U.S. forces pulled out, apparently he deserted. Do you know why? No, just, I know they argued a lot about it. Was he upset that his brother had deserted? Oh, no, no, he was, he was no fan of the government. I mean, by that time, very few people were. What, then? I think he was just, I don't know. Sick of all the violence. Didn't want to see his brother get caught up in all that. In what? More bloodshed. That dialogue over. Um, yeah, this is the first time I'm ever viewing and playing the Man of War ga uh, game and DLC of Armour 3. Uh, I played Armour 3 before, for 700 hours of it, but um, first time I'm playing this. What the fuck? Don't think. Was that supposed? To, yeah, it was supposed to happen. Uh, Laws of War is basically about. Um, it, it's in the name, the laws of conflict, the laws of war that is around life right now. So Arm 3 is a the most realist multiplayer simulator multiplayer army simulator ever developed by any company. Um, now to get into basics, it's a fun game. I do recommend if you're an action person get it, but if you're not, I guess don't really get it. But you've got different scenarios, you've got RP, action, uh, wasteland, which is basically survival. It's pretty fucking good the game. Oh great, another loading screen. Well, this is the map of Altus, as it said, top left of the, uh, of, uh, what's it called? Top left of the screen. Uh, Altus is the biggest map in the game. Um, I can't remember how many kilometers big, but it's, it's a beautiful map, uh, playing it. It's fun to play with massive amounts of people, and overall, RP-wise, it's fun. Wasteland is definitely fun, and... Overall, I'd say it's a fun game. Honestly, I, I would recommend any friend to get it who loves action, like um, <coughs> action games like Destiny. I mean, De Destiny is quite action, but it's got all the jumping and all that, which <coughs> fair enough, not um, action, but in general, the game's about shooting little aliens, so it's action. Uh, Call of Duty, definitely. If you're a fan of Call of Duty, you'll love this. It's more better. Dude. I'd recommend this to anyone of Call of Duty. They would never touch Call of Duty again after they play this shit, dude. It's the best. Um, hmm. 
I don't know what else other good advice to say, but it's probably the f most favorite game I have when it comes to, like, what it is. I mean, it really, it ain't, like, it ain't terrible. It's, like, probably one of the best AAA titles that I've played. I spent, it got released in, like, 2013, I think. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Kekko, I guess. Hello? Kate speaking. Hey, sorry about that. Call must Kekko. have dropped. The network out here is garbage. No problem. It's understandable. Are you still driving? Yeah, we're not at the town yet. Hold on a sec. Andy, we almost there. We're, uh, a little ways out. Oh, and we need to make one quick stop, too. Thanks, bud. So, um, where'd we get cut off? Um, you were telling me about the church. The landmine? The accident? Right, yeah. Well, of course, a civilian casualty like that, particularly, you know, at a church, I guess it kind of refocused our attention here. Had IDAP been particularly active in the area? Yeah. I mean, our project had a handful of camps spread across the country. But yeah, I was in the town itself for a few months. It's all different now, though. How so? Well, for one thing, IDAP used to be based right in the heart of Wario Castro. Of course, this was all pre-war. I remember, at that time, the local military maintained a checkpoint on the outskirts of town. That was understandable. I mean, the whole area was a kind of Wild West. Big mashup of civilian and guerrilla infrastructure. Disaster waiting to happen, really. I don't know. It's strange to see our camp based there now. Hey, sorry about the holdup. We're on the way now. All right, thanks, Andy. So, um, what's your role there today? Now, uh, in general, the provision of aid. There was a lot of damage. IDAP fills the gap. Drinking water, basic medicine, post-war cleanup, in other words. Mm. And on the ground, how does that translate to your work? It's a mixed bag. Like today, part demining, part unexploded ordnance disposal. I see. Heads up, Mac. Almost there. Got it. I'm sorry about that. We're arriving now. Give me a sec. Alright, as I said before, it's a massive map, a lot of beautiful scenery, anyone who loves scenery would love this game, as well as the physics and combat in this. Alright, Mac. That's your stuff, all laid out here. Hold on just a sec, Kate. I need to get set up. Take your time. Oh, how nice of you, Kate. All right, then. You got everything? Detector working? You, uh, remember how to switch it on, right? Um... Okay. So you use that, that to open the mine... Open the mine... Check out how to turn the mine... Okay. Oh, okay. When you have a okay, so yeah, you can have both these screens open, but also I'm gonna only have one. All right. Oh. Hey, sorry, I forgot to mention the demining toolkit. Totally forgot to pack it up this morning. That's no big deal. We're just locating the mines for now. Just keep me posted. Are you free to talk, Nathan? Sure. For now, I'm just sweeping the road for mines, getting a lay of the land, you know. The detector lets us see what we're dealing with here. I can... I can work and chat. I know I'm... Oh, okay, there it is. Get it, bugging right? No, it ain't. It's right next to me. I'm a twat. Question: What happens when you do find a landmine? Ordinarily, we disarm it, but today, small oversight. We haven't got all our gear right now. Oh, it's on the way. I hope. Yeah, it's all good. All right. I think there's a lot of mines up here. Yep. 
one right there. Come on, what's my mind? The thing is that I have to look at my screen and the mind track at the same time. Is that it? Alright. This is one of the so, tanks since the, the war's now so. over, has your own role changed at all? Yeah, I guess so. Now I'm almost entirely focused on EOD and UXO. And that's something you did in the military, too. Yeah. That's the thing about mines. War or not, win, lose, they don't go away. Alright, so you, I don't know if you're hearing me turn my mic off or not, I haven't really run that test yet, honestly, but... Um, this is, uh, IADAP is known for a humanitarian organisation that cleans up, like, bomb disposes, as it says. Um, it deals with all that type of stuff. Andy, I'm at the barricade. Cool. In the road? Yeah, it's what we thought. Dozen or so APs, nothing the old bobcat can't handle. And... The game itself is fun to play when it's a mixture of what it is. Um, am I just going to sit here and wait then for the bobcat? Or. Like, what's going to happen? I'm having the mood to run over on explosive scenes, so I've got like. Oh, yeah. Hour hurt. So, this is technically the map of Stratus, or not Stratus, Altus. Um, there's only one airfield on the entire map, right here. And I, oh no, there's actually, there's like very small ones, but the main airfield is right here. We'll have one there, one there, one up there, and I think, yeah, one there. You can go in first person or third person using the MZ key. Um, what's my job now? I didn't really said. I'm just gonna go into town then. Fuck it. Because I'm guessing that's what my job is now. What do I have in my inventory? Uh, mine detection, that's it. Alright. Alright, so when it comes to shooting in this game, um, like a lot of things matter in variable reasons. I can't get over that bastard. Like, yeah, I think we were because we kind of positioned it like that. What the fuck are you at, so? Is that an exploded round? Right, I bet not actually supposed to that. But, um,. Basically, when it's when you run, your stamina, you'll swirl left and right and left and right. When you're laying down, obviously you, you're not using much stamina to hold your gun. So How well do you remember the town? You mean before it was destroyed? Vividly. Remember details 15 months ago? They identified by shimmering effect, and you can trigger them by holding space. I know there's one going up to a sign, I don't know if it is. Okay, there's one over here as well on the house. Hmm, I got a UXO here dug right into the wall. Shit. You'll need the toolkit for that job. I'll get on the horn to dispatch. See what's taking him so long. I'll come back later. I'm probably not hitting everything, but I'm hitting oh shit, most of the things. See, the detail that Bohema Interactive, who are the developers of this, in the game are beautiful. Like, this is, all this is using own buildings, honestly. It's when they put the details, like all this stuff, into the game, it's, it's quite nice to see. Because they, you can see they're one of those developers that put a lot of work into the game. And it's just great to see you know, a developer like that. Game dropping frames there. Oh, 
sure it is. See, my vision's not going yet, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to expect. I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Where a camp used to be. Anything left? Not much. A few memories, maybe. How far in front of me is it? Because it should be right here and I'm standing. There you are. Like, I swear something's supposed to be wobbly here. Or maybe wobble a little bit. Oh. Some places can help you remember details from 15 months ago. They identified by shimmering effects and using trim by pressing effects. Oh, that. Okay. Just some old boxes here and there. I don't. Yeah. It was NATO that helped bring them in. Actually, it was one hell of a supply drop. So exploring this place, you get. I'm guessing you play as different kind of things, like jobs and all that. Hell of a. Oh, great. Oh, word. It's lovely to see these days. Yes. <laughs> um. Oh, bad. I'm so tired. I'm sorry about the creaking if you hear that. It's my chair. I sit on a wooden chair. Oh, great. My windows closed itself. Well, me thinking I could have lovely cold air. No, no. It betrays me. It stabs me in the wee little back. And fucking closes it. Ugh. So a scenario is what it's called, but you can get uh, Steam Workshop ones, and you can. So get, the you supply know, drop. This was when exactly? Right around the time we saw the ceasefire starting to break down. Must be more than a year ago now. So at that time, your camp was in the center of town. Yeah, things were getting pretty desperate, though. I remember we hadn't been resupplied in months. No food, water, medicine. We were used to issues with logistics, but I don't know. In the end, it got so bad, U.S. forces prepared an airdrop. Not an easy task, considering, but those crates, they really were life and death. That's why we needed somebody on the ground. Someone to make sure they came down okay. And who was that? Me, motherfucker. <laughs> Guy named Adams. Part of the NATO peacekeeping force. Close friend of mine, actually. Adams? He went out alone? From the way he told it, he may as well have. No, he went along with some new recruits, local bunch. It was his job to show them the ropes. So, let me wait for Okay, now. We'll... <laughs> So I've got a random chrome date. Alright, so that's the area we're focusing on. Uh, Alright. Um, Something I'm not quite clear on. Why didn't IDAP transport the aid themselves? There must have been a reason. Yeah, there was. A couple of weeks right. previously, guerrillas had ambushed a convoy. It was some dissident group out to sabotage the peace talks in Kerbala. Anyway, NATO intervened and the whole thing just blew up. A checkpoint was hit. Protesters were fired upon at the MOD. Yes, I, I, we were there. AAM. Then you know how bad it got. Our movements were limited by the government. Exactly. And convincing anybody to reassign troops? To escort NGOs, just a total monster. So, like things like this are going to be the air hard map. One of the biggest things I like about this game actually is the views you're able to get. Fuck me, I think I'm going to be screen. This thing's amphibious, and it can go down here. Yeah, it's just... Tell me more about your friend. 
he was your liaison, right? Right. But Adams and I had a history. We'd, we'd met on a previous deployment. This guy was your typical army lifer. Cynical, sarcastic, big heart, pissed off with everyone, everything, all the time. And he always seemed to know where to find a beer, and was always willing to share it. How do I manage this? Something about the breakdown of peace talks, the situation blowing up. What happened there, from your perspective? Well, for one thing, the change in the peacekeeping mandate came out of the blue. We heard the pressure came down the pipe from CSAT. They had the leverage. You mean it was in their interest to kick NATO off the mainland? Maybe. Certainly the government had become frustrated with NATO and vice versa. I suppose they blame NATO for their, what, more sympathetic approach? Hearts and minds, Adams used to tell me. But the others said they just didn't have the guts for it. Couldn't do what needed to be done. Yes! Patience. Shit. zones available to Adams was out on the coast. Once he called in the airdrop, that was it. They just had to sit tight, hope for the best. One thing I don't understand, what were they doing there, all the way up in the mountains? The town, Oreo Castro. This I place has way. historic ties with the guerrillas. For years, people here would provide them with food, water. I see. The government responded by draining the swamp. And that involved sending soldiers? Yeah, coin ops. Adams and his guys were there to remind them of their R2P. Just a sec, I'm getting a bit lost in the lingo here. Hmm? Oh, gotcha. Um, R2P is their responsibility to protect. Counterinsurgency can get real messy real quick. He was in charge of training. Laws of armed conflict, that kind of thing. Huh? Oh, it's coming. All right. Adams normally tossed out an orange smoke grenade, which marked his position for the pilot. I don't know if that was a way too early or way too late. Well, not late, but you know, way too early or just right time. Oh, these guys don't give a shit. I mean, they're recruits and all, but they don't give a shit. Nope, I want to sit down. I want to salute. Salute. That's not salute. I don't remember what you were salute. Shit. So, these crates. One contained medicine, another fresh drinking water, the rest were packed with rice or grain. Adam said to inspect each one individually. Later, we'd arrange collection. Thankfully, the rice seemed okay. <laughs> so he's gonna keep putting each step on this as when we, okay. 
Okay, well, none of them went to war, apparently. I take that back. It wasn't uncommon for the sacks of grain to split on impact, but that time, we got lucky. We didn't lose a single one. Stop. <laughs> okay then. So, what are we doing? So you see top right, um, this bar red means the stamina that you have, meaning try not to plead that, you're fucked. Follow up, I think I'm fucked trying to get out there. You know what, I'm gonna go out to the water. Alright, come on, we're gonna drown together, guys. So there are a few different activities in this game. This one, Strider, it is giving you two different variants, you get three variants. You can get this one, the HMG, which is a heavy machine gun, and a grenade machine gun. Which, this sounds GMG, but it sounds stupid. The grenade machine gun sounds stupid, but it's a GMG, but it works out fine. Alright, so this. Unfortunately, the crate containing water came down heavy. Most of the bottles inside it split open. Shit. Oh really shit you are on my coordination of where the line is. Come on, where the hell is that crate line? I will the sea. Oh the sea. Um so a few things. Uh I don't know if it's too wide for here. Yeah. Well, let's say if I go off the pedal, everything in the car is beautifully working with the stick. You probably got the sort of fall, but. Um, no, it's just the game itself is beautiful. How it runs, what you can do in it. If it's going to go uphill, it's still. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't. don't. I'm on the back. Who's who's like the full fucking back again? Das engine boy. Oh, that's good. That means go up the hill, please. This is, yeah, 
yes, the turn off the belt. This is so long since the high set has been high. Yes, I'm doing this. I'm mounting the ball. So. Okay. Before we got a hill, that's good. Okay, I think we're good. Judgment, judgment. To be honest, the fuck did that package go? Like, I'm not even near it apparently. Oh fuck. Oh. <gasps> okay, that makes sense if it's in a fucking rock. Okay, so it should technically be here. Somewhere. On this dangerous cliff. Which I will probably fall off of. Please don't. I'm gonna get stuck on a fucking rock. Alright, so it's not down the side here. <gasps> Ew. <gasps> Please don't. Love of God. I think I broke my leg. Yep. Well, this takes some time, obviously. Don't you dare. Hell is this last one? Okay, I know they're up there. Well, at least they, I know they ain't, you know, full down the hill or dead. Um, there's nothing there. the fuck? Where is the crate? Welcome back to Crate Hunters with your host, Gaming Specialist. How are you doing today? I'm not doing great, sir. Well, that's fucking great then, isn't it? You're doing great, I'm doing shit, because I don't find a single fucking crate. It's up down there. Where is it? I know the strut is up there, game. Oh, shit. Alright, we're good. Please, just kill me. No, no, please don't. I don't want to run up. Uh, climb the rocks. Fuck you, game. Alright, so I don't know where it could be. I know, expect, inspect all the fucking crates, but you know what? I have no clue where it is. Okay? That is the only crate I've seen. I don't know how I was sliding down that fast. I'll take it. Alright. Okay, well, let's just think about this for instance. It could be on this rock. It could. Could also be in that air. But you know what? It's not. What the fuck happened to this terrain issue? Ow. Okay, that uh, up. Don't touch the fucked up terrain next time. <laughs> Life lesson learned. Get me up on the 
this fucking rock. Damn. If he's landed on this rock, I'm, I'm fucked in that sense. Is it because it, I can't? Where is it? I can't just get up on this rock or something? Like, the fuck? I feel like it's along this rock. I mean, I couldn't really see up there before, but it would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? Got this dead guy in there. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to find him, but you yeah, know, I'm going off, you know, off track. You yeah, know, fuck it, why not? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't realized actually that actual time existed. The fuck? Um. Just gonna be honest. Uh, zombie rule one. He isn't dead. I am. Yeah. Okay. Well, he seems dead. Though. Zombie rule. <laughs> Don't trust him. All right. So apparently, I okay, crashed. I don't know where that crate's gone. That crate's fucked me right up. Like. Ah. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm not lying, I, I generally have no clue what I'm supposed to do. I can't find the other crate, so what the hell am I supposed to do? I mean, it magically stumps upon it. The medical items, they've been trashed. Files are broken, just uh, a total mess. It was a disaster. It's Adams didn't know it, but one of our doctors uh, yeah. lost a patient because of that. As for the crates, they still needed to be checked before anyone else arrived. Find the crate. What? No sense. I have to go all the way up here. I have to run. Target in sight. You guys just not gonna... Cannot fire! I thought you guys just... You no, know, actually, that sounds like a good idea right now. Speed the time up. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um... That's it. I don't care how much time I've just lost doing that. Because, Jesus Christ, this took me ages. Alright. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep it like that until I get to the vehicle. Oh, fuck my life. Oh, fuck my life. Uh, in a sense, you can't do that in multiplayer matches, obviously. Break the understanding of any fucking combat. You're walking along normally, you see a fucking guy just woof, gone. Um, thank you, Xbox, for being really, really interested in this idea. Gaming camera, game, gaming camera. Fuck my life. That was gaming specters. Fucking up like usual. Hope you enjoyed the fuck up. 
and the random for some reason like I don't know why the hell it was there like where it was but you know it happens I think does it happen I don't think it happens okay not this again So it lands on one of these rocks and then goes through the ground, I'm guessing. Because it's gone again. And one of these rocks. This game's an asshole. You probably hear Destiny 2 in the background. Thanks, life. So why the fuck is that, man? Like... No, 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 no. Please. Oh, wait, am I good? No, I'm not good. The medical items, they've been trashed. Vials are broken. Just uh, a total mess. It was a disaster. Adams didn't know it, but one of our doctors, he lost a patient because of that. Oh, dude, that's just fucking harsh. What the fuck? Well, I found a bug in the game. <sighs> this up was gonna take forever. You know, <laughs> fuck this. I'll redo that some other time. Fuck you guys. Thanks for watching. This has been a part of armor. It's fucking pissed me off. See you guys later. <laughs>